Hi, Rizlin here, showing you how to use the very first version of PoE add-on launcher. First off, there's gonna be a lot of bugs, just expect bugs, so notify me either on GitHub or Reddit or through any means you can find. So, to show you how it works, let's go to my virtual machine here, and I'll show you how to do everything, so I know there's no mistakes here. You're going to need the Java Runtime Environment 8, so search for JRE 8 on Google. Then the first link should be an oracle.com link, so go there. Accept the license agreement, grab the exe that's relevant for your Windows. Then it should finish downloading. There we go. You can change the destination folder, doesn't matter whatsoever. So while this is installing, we're going to go to, really you can go to any folder. Let's just delete this to show that it is indeed any folder. Like, I'm going to put it in documents here, but you can put it wherever you like. I wouldn't recommend your desktop because PoE add-on, uh, what's the, I, don't, I forgot the name of it, but it's PoE price check thingy. <laughs> PoE trade macro does not like being installed on the desktop. Another thing you want to watch out for is do not create the folder in any folder that has this shield. It means you need administrative access, which the program does not ask for. So just, I'm going to do it here. And just keep the things in mind I just told you. I'm going to call it pal. Then you're going to create a folder for your add-ons. Oh, that's a typo. And I'm going to create a folder for the program itself. So that's... That's all you need in terms of preparation work. So now you can actually download the program. Just go to my GitHub page. Releases version 1.3. There we go. Just save it. While you can run it from just this window, I would not recommend it. Instead, just drag it over here. Then we all know it's uh, fine. Click it to use and you will get the configurator. So in order to use the configurator, we're going to point it to where we want to install the add-ons and the add-on launcher itself to. So first up is the add-ons. We're going to want to put that in our add-on folder here. And then the program itself, we want to put in this neat little program folder. Then you're going to have to select what PoE version you want. I only have the Steam version installed on this virtual machine, but if you have the standalone version, which is usually located in Program Files, Grinding Gear Games, Pet of Excel, you're going to want to click on this Browse button. Make sure you c select the right one, because if you select Steam version but you have only a standalone version, the Pet of Excel will just not launch. So make sure you do not make a mistake here. Go to Steam Apps, Common, Pet of Excel, there it is. There we go. Now you get a little overview of what's going to happen. Make sure this is correct. It's a Steam folder. And there you go. Now the program is going to be downloaded. It's going to appear here. B9. That's our most recent version. And now it should launch as well. Just in time. As you can see, our loot filter folder has not been set. If you would like to remove this message, just click on it. There you go. So first up, like one major issue with the program right now is it does not share its installation data with the actual program. So you're going to have to do this one more time. And I promise you it's the last time you'll have to do it. For now, anyway. Also, this second option here is your loot filter folder. So that's in my game's Pet of Excel, just uh, FYI. And then you're going to put either your Steam version, standalone version, or if you or if you have both, you're going to put one of those. So once again, navigate to your Steam folder. Steam apps, common, Pet of Excel, you know the drill by now. Then, if you do not have Auto Hotkey installed, you can click here, and it will download the Auto Hotkey installer for you. There it is. So just install it. You can place it wherever you want. There it is, it's installed. So now I'm gonna browse to the folder I just installed it to. It's right over here. You can add your custom auto hotkey scripts to be used when launching. Make sure this check mark is selected, otherwise it won't. Click the plus mark to add an auto hotkey script. 
launch options will deal with these in a bit. Oh, there's still a little bit from my previous installation available. Uh, API, GitHub API token, get one, because by default you only get like very little requests, like 50 for an hour or something like that. So go to the site, grab a token. You need a GitHub account though, so get one. And then just put the token here. It's, it'll look something like this. But then it'll work when you put it in. Also make sure you check the check mark, otherwise you won't use it. And here's a bunch of links where you can uh, complain to me that the program doesn't work. All right, so now we can download some insta add some add-ons. You can either select it, click it once again, it will download it, or you can use the download button, whatever you fancy. We also got a bunch of filters, all come from the Filter Blast API. So let's just download NeverSync. There we go. And now everything is installing. Note that Currency Cop has a separate installer. It has no zip version, so I can't install it for you, unfortunately. Anyhow, it'll also always launch once, unfortunately. That's just the way the program was made. So now we can create a launch configuration. So let's say we want Trade Macro and we want Mercury Trade. And save and exit, and then it should work. It did. It's always great when something works when you click for it for the first time. So yeah, this is just the Mercury Trade setup. I'm not gonna actually like run the setup. And there is our pod of Excel. So you might have noticed I also selected another feature. Here in launch options, there is launch PoE when PAL has launched. So we click that, we remove this. Uh, let's Internet Explorer. We go to PAL. We launch it once again, and lo and behold, Pet of Excel will boot when it happens. Hopefully. Otherwise, I got some bug fixing to do. Ah, it did. And there you go. Program launches, everything works. I guess enjoy. I don't really have an outro for this thing. So, hope you enjoy the program. Goodbye.